Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. I want to go to radar because we've got a storm system now refiring the snow across a lot of the Intermountain West, Montana, Idaho, and parts of the Tetons. The Wasatch, it is snowing there. I'll take you there live in just a second, but I want to show you radar in Colorado. So this is also crossing the mountains of Colorado. Again, we can see light to moderate accumulations in Utah and Colorado t tonight and tomorrow morning. So we'll continue in those places overnight. In fact, here is that snow, light to moderate falling up there. This is Solitude Mountain up there, Solitude Ski Area in uh, Big Cottonwood Canyon. So snow's coming down there right now and it will continue into tomorrow morning. All right, here's what I'm seeing in this uh, this afternoon update. So Utah and Colorado, you've got snow tonight through tomorrow morning, light to moderate accumulations. And then here's what comes next, the Sierra, the Tetons, the Wasatch, Colorado, and the Northeast. That's your timeline for additional snow. And besides the storm I just showed you on radar, there are two additional storms for a lot of the west, and that could bring heavy accumulation to a lot of places from the Sierra all the way through the Tetons, the Wasatch, and in Colorado. So I want to show you what the lay of the land looks like right now. This is water vapor satellite imagery, and uh, your moisture aloft is in the whites and the blues. So again, there's a little lower, low pressure right here, kind of crossing the Intermountain West with some snow. Bigger low right here. You can see it's spinning up. Another low behind it. Both of those will play into the extended forecast. In fact, here is, let's go with the jet stream first. Here's the latest jet. By close of day today, you can see the trough right over the top of the Intermountain West. Eventually that'll slide through, but that's what's keeping the snow going right now and tonight. Then next storm kind of rolls across the northern tier. The final storm will dive down into California and make a run towards the four corners on 4-1 and 4-2, and then it exits by the time we get into 4-3, and we have another, it looks like a pattern shift coming in from the north out of Canada. Uh, that could bring a low pressure into the Pacific Northwest and northern tier. All right, now let's look at moisture. So that's 5-30 this afternoon. Snow running right across the interior, just like the radar image, radar animation I just showed you uh, over parts of the Tetons, the Wasatch, Colorado, Idaho, and Montana. Then everything fades by tomorrow. Here comes the next storm, and again, that one kind of sweeps across the northern tier, but here's what I like about it. Look at that band of heavy snow on 328 over the top of the Wasatch. I think we could see some really heavy snow on the 28th, uh, potentially then on the, uh, the 30th, and also on the 31st as a result of this pattern. Watch what happens. There's 29, kind of shifts away, but here comes the next shot of moisture. There's 330, another shot of heavy snow for the Wasatch. This is the final storm system diving out of California towards the four corners. Still heavy snow there on 331 as well over the Wasatch, and then everything builds. Look at the snow up in Wyoming. Then it builds through Colorado, and it'll snow through 42, and then it's done, and it moves away. Then we'll look to the north for the next potential storm system dropping down to the south by 44. All right, latest numbers. My latest grand total uh, map looks like this. So by late 4-4, now I've got up to 50 inches for Little and Big Cottonwood Canyons. I think that's possible that we get close to that um, if all of this plays out as it looks right now. Two feet for the Tetons, over a foot for Big Sky, looking at about a foot for Bridger Bowl, potentially two feet in Red Lodge. Um, in Colorado, a lot of the snow is central to northern mountains. You can see that, especially western slope. Um, Aspen snow mass down into Crested Butte, potentially one to two feet of accumulation, a couple of feet for Tahoe down to Mammoth. Um, and what you see up in the Pacific Northwest in BC, that's with that final storm that comes in like 4-3 and 4-4 with that pattern shift that would build those snow totals into those areas. Okay, let's look at it by time period. So rest of today into tomorrow. Again, light to moderate accumulations with this, this sort of weak low moving through the interior Rockies. Second time period's pretty big for the Wasatch. Assuming we get that banding and that lifting, we'll probably see one to two feet of accumulation. Um, some decent numbers along I-70 and north in Colorado, and about a foot for Tahoe down to Mammoth. Okay, final time period is 331 to 44, um, and we're looking at big numbers up in parts of uh, the Tetons in Montana, another one to two feet for the Wasatch, and probably four to ten in parts of Colorado. Okay, let's go to the northeast. Here are my numbers for the northeast. The issue here is on 424344, somewhere in there, the temperatures are marginal, so I had to cut down the totals. You might remember this morning, it looked like there might be some heavy snow up around Maine, maybe New Hampshire. Well, I didn't kind of dial those numbers down as a result of the warmer temperatures, but that could change. Still a long way off. All right, guys, we'll end on the grand total map here for this afternoon. And again, there are definitely some bullseyes. Anywhere in purple's over a foot 
And we've got some bullseyes in parts of western Colorado, the Tetons, parts of Montana, the Wasatch, and also California. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it, and take care.